What's up, y'all? Quick out here working out in the back. So, real fast update. Look here, man. Ernest Shell in the jail. Okay, I'm over there catching up on Constant Sue. Uh, I have another video following this about Ernie, but here's the update. Uh, I need all my people who've been incarcerated to understand where I'm coming on this one. So, here's the deal, y'all. Uh, apparently, Constant Sue has reported that Ernie has been in a black jail uniform, okay? So, called, verified, okay? He is in a black jail uniform. Now, you cannot get this verified over the phone, um, but anybody who has been in the system knows this. What is it? We call it a Ninja Turtle suit because that's exactly what it is, a Ninja Turtle suit. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernie Shell, Suicide Watch. Um, this is the oldest one in the book. Anybody who's really done some time before, you're going psych, you're going crazy, right? They put you in this suit. It's not standard, man. They have colors, they have classifications inside the jail system. Blue or orange or whatever your county is. You know, orange is violent crimes, sexual crimes. Blue is misdemeanor. Uh, you know, lowercase felonies, robbery, pawn, you know, pawn, ripping off a pawn shop, you know, car theft, things of that nature. But uh, when you start getting the weird uniforms, okay, red is an escape risk. Red is ultra violent. Red is like a keep away. Red, red in jail, red is isolation, okay, also with black. Also with black, it's also not a uniform. It's a long skirt. No underwear. Ernest Shell is hypothetically and for educational purposes, allegedly, free balling. This is not funny. You cannot have anything to hurt yourself with. Now, why do I say it's on the oldest one in the book? Because 99% of the time, in 99% of claims, that inmates do this, it's not because they really want to do this. Mental health is serious. I'm not gonna joke about that. But in jail, you can't even do that if you were thinking that. But they have to take it serious. You don't get a belt. You don't get, you know, if you have shoes off the canteen, they don't give you shoelaces. You get nothing, nada, zero. Zero. Why dudes do it? They go to medical. So they can be around women all the time instead of in an alpha situation with a whole bunch of other dudes. Doesn't that kind of fit Ernest? Come on, people. But it's done also for your case. I'm going crazy. You know, a lot of people don't know this, right? In Florida, at least, you can do whatever you want in Florida your first time. As long as it's nothing weird or violent. You know, myself, for example, okay, dope, selling dope. That first felony, they're gonna wash that. They're gonna pretend it never happened. They're gonna give you probation, and you, you complete the probation. That thing is off your record, kind of, kind of. But they'll wipe it off your record. Okay, law enforcement can always see it, this and that, this and that, but they give you that one chance, right? After that, your best chance is to play like a rehab card, right? Because now the second time, so, so you went through it the one time, you uh, you get to wash it. Now your second time around, if you get in trouble again, you play the I'm an addict role. So they'll send you to rehab. Uh, now in, in this instance, you'll just avoid a lot of jail time and or prison. They'll send you off to a rehab. So it's called the rehab card, okay? Now, if you go back again, you play the psych card. I'm going to blank myself. I'm going to hurt this, this, that. You, you, you can't even be done inside there. Some guys do do it. In prison it's a different story. There's knives, there's this and that. That's a different ball game in prison. Inmates still do it inside of prison for the same reasons. But when you do it, when you play this card, you're either too afraid of the men that you're locked up with and you want to get away from them, which you will absolutely do, or you want to get transferred or this and that. And that's what this card is played for. And I could not 
This is so Ernie, people. This is so earnest. This is 1,000% earnest. You know, he, you know, he's all tough and rough with his Afro puff out here on the streets, the, the big old bad predator hunter. But once he gets about, around some real alpha mofos, hey, different ball game, attitude changed. So he's thinking in his grifting mind, his manipulative mind, how can I get my, oh, I know. Hey, I want to, yeah. Quick update, y'all. Just giving you the jail insight. Unfortunately, I can give it to you. I don't glorify jail. But hey, because I've been in there, because I've been in prison, I can give you these little insights. So I know what card Ernie's playing. That's just what it is, y'all. And I couldn't love it more. I couldn't love it more. I don't even know Ernie Shell was even on the internet doing shenanigans after he was canceled. And then he came back with the Summer Wells crap and repeatedly drove it home. Lies and lies and prayer guard and crime and lies and lies and lies and lies. Hey, we appreciate you, Mother Karma. Until the next one.